Hi guys, this is Amir. Today we're making this video today about of showing you how to replace a ceiling fan. Before working with electricity, turn off the circuit breaker. Once you get power disconnected to the ceiling fan, all you need to do is take the light bulbs off. And take the glass covers off. It's just simple. Just unscrew three screws on the side and I'll take this glass lens out of this ceiling fan. And the same thing as this one too, because all of them are the same. It has three screws on the side as you can unloosen it with your hands. No tools required to this removal of this glass lens. Even if you have one of these broken by mistake, there is a replacement for one of these, even if yours breaks. And you just need to remove those screws that's securing the fan blade to the motor shaft. And you just need to get your straight flathead screwdriver to remove those two screws that's mounting the fan blade to the motor shaft of the ceiling fan. Make sure you hold the fan blade as you're removing the two screws that's mounting the fan blade. And the fan blade comes right out. Once you get the fan blades removed off the ceiling fan, all you need to do is get up to the ceiling fan and you'll find a canopy. Yeah, just three wires. Yeah, it's real simple. No transmitter on this ceiling fan. This one's a standard fan power control version. This one has no transmitter module because this one has a pull chain exactly because this is a mechanical motor ceiling fan. And you'll have your three wires coming to your ceiling fan and you just need to pull the wires out of the ceiling fan mounting bracket why so many wires exactly like what in the world and you'll have your three wires as you take it out to the ceiling fan electrical mounting plate and you'll have your black wire that's connected to blue which this goes to the motor of the ceiling fan which this one the green wire right here is the ground even if you're wondering why this wire is white is probably because paint got into the copper of the ground and covered it over so i don't recommend you doing that to your ground even if you're doing this to your fan and you just need to remove the black wire which is the hot wire if you're wondering what this blue wire is, this is for the ceiling fan. Because this one with the ceiling fan, when you have a ceiling fan mounted to an electrical junction box with three wires, actually makes it four because this one has four wires. Green is the ground, black is the hot wire, white is the neutral, and blue is the fan motor. Which, yeah, there is four wires, usually because you can tell the difference on how this one is ended up having two wires attached to one hot wire. If you're wondering why the, why the two wires were attached to the hot wire, it's probably because this one is getting power for the light fixture and even the blue is for the fan motor. And you just need to take off the hot wire and remove the neutral, which is the white wire, and remove the green wire, which is the ground. And you just need to remove the ground wire and the neutral and the wires are completely removed. All you need to do is push and it comes out. And you just removed your ceiling fan from the electrical mounting plate. You can see I just bought the new ceiling fan off Amazon. 
I will have a link in the description down below so you can get one of these. Replacement ceiling fan. You can see it came with the fan DC motor transmitter for the remote control to control this uh, fan with the remote instead of having a pull chain, which I'll show you how to install that. And it comes with the user's manual on how to install a new ceiling fan. And it's very important to read the instructions too. And you just need to take this metal pan out. And you just need to get the metal grill out. comes with a metal rod for the ceiling fan motor. Make sure you take all the screws in, and all those hardware you see in the box. And it came with the cannon bead and this mount that goes to the top of the wires on the ceiling fan. You can see it came with a new mounting bracket, which if you think about replacing yours, which, which yeah, this one is fittable to the fact that if you're installing your ceiling fan or have a previous light fixture that you think about replacing to a ceiling fan, you gotta make sure you have a heavy duty mounting bracket, which for the light fixture junction box, and then you're allowed to have a ceiling fan. And make sure it's reinforced too, because if it's not, it'll break off the ceiling, and do some damage to your ceiling fan, which you don't want that. Carefully take the motor out of the plastic assembly. And carefully lay down the ceiling fan. Make sure you take the protective covers off. For the fan blades. And these ones extend automatically. Really nice little feature. If you're wondering why there's a wire harness, this is for the fan control transmitter, which you just plug it in. And if you guys see these wires, what exactly the two wires? And this plug-in harness is for the transmitter that gets power to these connections. So there is two connections, which don't cut these. Make sure you just untangle the wire and you'll have your harness, which don't cut this. Because if you see this on your new ceiling fan, don't ever cut this. This is actually for your fan VC transmitter that you have to install because it comes with one when you buy a new ceiling fan. And this is the DC transmitter that came with it. You just need to take it out to the Ziploc. And you just need to install the new canopy. And you just need to install the metal canopy to the ceiling fan metal rod. and the rubber boot. And you just need to get your wires and fish it through the wire conduit. You can see the wires coming out. Make sure you line the holes for the middle Pan rod to go through. You can see the pan fits in, and you just need to install the clevis pan. Make sure you tighten the screws. And re mount the rubber boots and we're going to be connecting this DC remote transmitter to those wires and you can see there's two wires on this DC remote transmitter you just need to connect the white wire and connect the blue wire you just need to install this to the ceiling fan 
electrical mounting plate. If you see this on your ceiling fan, this is for the DC remote transmitter that actually sends transmitting signal to a remote control, which this is a control module. And this plugs directly in here, which we're not gonna plug this in yet until we get this installed to the electrical mounting plate of the ceiling fan. And you just need to get your new ceiling fan and install it to the electrical mounting plate. You see I replaced the electrical mounting plate on the ceiling fan and I mounted it. And you just need to connect the DC transmitter and connect the power wires. Just need to connect the black wire. Connect the neutral wire. You just need to connect the round wire. Make sure it's grabbing. Tuck the wires in. Connect the harness for the DC transmitter. All the wires are secured inside. Just need to connect the canna bead with the two screws. And this bracket, I have replaced it to the fact that this little bracket, you can't reuse this unless you think of reusing it. If you're getting the same ceiling fan, then you could reuse this bracket. But this one, you have to replace the bracket. And this bracket takes four screws to the fact that this one is really, the electrical box inside is really small. So this one with the new Electrical mounting plate is super wide, so I had to drill some new holes for the screws to be mounted. I have a stud that's mounting the four screws on these. Very important, make sure you have a stud that runs around the electrical mounting plate. Because if not, this thing, all the weight is going to break off, so we don't want that. And this bracket is smaller compared to this one being bigger, so I have replaced the bracket because this one with this bracket, if you have this bracket in your ceiling fan, you should replace it as if you're replacing your ceiling fan with a different model. You just need to mount in the canopy. You just need a line for the screw to be mounted. I think it's more easier when they say, probably pulling this off and then get it straight in there as your line, it will get in there straight. Cause... Oh, there it is. There. You just need to rotate it, tighten the two Phillips screws. And it's all done. All you see is a small hole, which is not a big of a deal. It will be fixed with the drywall. So the fact that we're having a little issue with the beam not being aligned properly to the junction box being a small little light fixture junction box that was original to this house for 32 years and it was a struggle so i got the stud to finally hold four screws it's actually really supporting the ceiling with a piece of wood so it's properly installed and now it's going to work once you take the protective case off of this metal pan you just need to take the bolts off You just need to take all four bolts off and the Phillips screw and make sure you don't lose this. And you just need a metal pan and unloosen and a light fixture, light bulb socket and unscrew the bolt to the top remove the washer and flip this pan upside down and get your light fixture push the wires through the hole mount your metal washer
and tighten the bolt. Make sure you hold the light fixture as you're using your wrench. This thing will start to move, so you got to make sure it's fully tight and not loose. The light fixture is secured. All you need to do is mount those two wires to the new ceiling fan. You just need to connect the light fixture to the ceiling fan wires. You just need to connect the white wire with the white wire. Use your wire nuts. I prefer using uh, Latrician's wire nuts, which yeah, those really work really good to the fact that if you don't even want to use those uh, small wire nuts. And connect the black wire to the blue wire. Once you finish connecting the wire nuts, all you need to do is mount the metal pan into the ceiling fan. You just need to get your iron mesh and fish the screw in. Make sure you don't drop it. And mount it to the light fixture and mount the bolt on the top. You just need to get your small screw mounted to the top of the metal pan and tighten the bolt. Once you get all four bolts and screws attached to the metal iron mesh, just need to get your Phillips screwdriver and tighten four of those screws and hold the bolt on the top. It's all secured. All you need to do is mount the light fixture into the ceiling fan. And make sure you have bigger boxes to support the light fixture so it can have enough length for the wires so it doesn't put so much stress on the wire or so it'll break off. Now let's mount the ceiling fan with the light fixture. Just gotta line these metal screw threads through this metal pan. and install the mounting bolts. Once you secure all four mounting bolts, all you need to do is install five E26 light bulbs. and you're all done. All you need to do is turn the power back on and see if the new light fixture in the ceiling fan is working. The power's back on. Now let's test this new ceiling fan. I'm gonna turn on the light switch. And you can see it's working. Now let's test the fan with the remote control. You can hear how quiet the ceiling fan is. And you can see the ceiling fan works really good while it's in operation. So thank you very much for watching this video. If this video was helpful, if it did, hit that like button, I really appreciate it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button or notification bell so you'll be notified too. So you will never miss a video that we upload on this repair channel. And have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.